Hello guys and welcome. Welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we did the nice funny mansion quest for Therese and bring the locket back. Or pendant or whatever. Uh, but Therese was not here so I gave it to Jeanette. And she sent me to another mission to slash some painting and steal a charity box and stuff like that. And of course we're gonna do it. I'll be right back. But before we go... I was thinking about this is the Therese's computer. Uh, email. Let's see what it has to say. One Baroness Tree. Oh, she has kind of hard. Nectar of the Gods. Miss Warman, your humble servant has done his all to provide you with yet another batch of the finest sanguine spirits. And I apologize for not pouring it when you asked last time. Forgive me, unlike you, I am imperfect being. Vandal Cleaver. Who's that? Sounds like a fan. Halting Construction. Look, Miss Warman, Julian jo from Julian Johnson. I'm really sorry to do this, but the men won't work there anymore. They say it's haunted. And that's where I came in. Tree Re, Santa Monica is my city. Yeah, she sent this to Janet. From Janet, why are you always so mean? Bert is not so bad once you get to know him. You're the disgusting one. Yeah, okay. Contacts. Oh, let's hack. Business. Of course. Lacroix. Might be something interesting. Okay. La. Croix. I see. Tongue, Bertrand. Local Nosferatu. Johnson. Community Constructor. Miller. Disc Chuck DJ. Uh, Vandal. Oh, it was that. Blood Bank Manager. Ooh, the guy. Okay. The guy in the Blood Bank. The Grace Man. La be uh, art coordinator. Okay, let's go and do the job. Um, I also the um, uh, doctor was supposed to be send me money, and I think I know where it is. I'm gonna go and check it out. Oh. So let's get back to... Well, not my... Well, actually, let's go back to my apartment. There should be some... Also some reward from the... Werewolf thing. If I remember where I live. Uh, yes, right place. First, let's get to my mailbox. Uh, it has been a while since the werewolf thing. A few weeks already. There you go, money clip! 150. A wad of money left lying around. Funny that. Let's go and see the e email also. I have seen that already. Yeah, nothing in here. Uh, email. Uh, new email. Nicely done. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please fix your payment. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. SL. I did. I got money. Janet has asked you to go to Gary Nord. There is was available, so you. You gave the ocean house pendant to Janet. Probably not the best of ideas. You should check back later and see there if there is when she returns. And then I am going to go to um, the suits. Suits? Sweets? Sweets. Not suits. Sweets. Oh, poor you. Sweets. There. Oh, someone has clean. No, someone has put a rug on the blood stain. 
that's a way to do it. Okay, there are more carpets around here. Um, placed on the blood stains. That's. But I'm here. Uh, yes. Okay, that's a way to clean place up. Seventy-five bucks. That's about the same amount as um, the doctor promised to give me for not giving the infirmaries. Oh. I mean, I'm on my way over here. What? Who is this? Looks like a guard. Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Radio? Oh, that's bad. Do you get the call? Open the door. And what if I don't leave? I'm sorry, I leave immediately. Um. Open the door. Uh, sure. Yeah, I can do that. Right this way. That's good. Please. Hey, need a date? Mm, no, thanks. There you go. Thank you. Uh, now go somewhere and dance. <laughs> go to the asylum and hit the dance floor. Right. Right. Okay. Bye. I need to go and check this out after I'm done here. Okay. So yeah, Sewers of the Great Protection of Secrecy. Okay, there are paintings now. I was here earlier. Cain meets Lilith. Cain cursed by God. Cain spurs Lilith. Spurns. Why? What did Lilith ever do to him? And Kane slays Abel. Okay. Oh, slashing. Slash. Oh, no. Slashing with. Hey, let's slash with this new sword I have. No, let's slash with knife. Yes. Um, Kane slays Abel. Uh, God is not happy. Kane cursed by God. And then God, Cain meets Lilith probably before he kills Lilith. Yes, and Cain burns Lilith. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I was not prepared for, prepared for this. Um. Strike. I need blood, so let's use blood strike. There you go. This is my tactics. Run, hit the run. Actually, I do this quite a lot in. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts. Pain is not. I am going to try my new sword on this thing. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm doing pretty good, yeah. to hit <laughs> let's try to hit this one. unfortunately the blood splatters are not nice. Ow. There you go. Experience reward three. That's good. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, that was tough. That was tough. 
Whew. Let's uh, continue. Um, excuse me. Uh, okay, I did it. I did it. Let's take the weapon off. Um, let's take the cash box and let's leave from the back door. The paintings are slashed. Ooh, 200 feet. That's a lot. Well, I wish I could. But I lost humanity. Why? Blood here. Well, that wasn't nice. I lost some humanity. That's not. I didn't want to do that. But I do want to go and see if the guy from here is dead. Not today. No. Oh, come on, please. You think too highly of yourself. No, this is the hospital. Wrong place. Well, I could go and buy some blood. It would be nice to have a bag or two with me all the time. I have two, I think, or three, not quite sure anymore. Did I use one? Can't remember. I think I do. Or I can't remember. Um. He's dancing. Yay! Go for it. Oh. And everyone's dancing around me. Why are they? What? Nothing. Um, let's go to the pawn shop. I might want. To... Maybe he has something new. Fox boxes, okay. It was a shipping company. I kind of thought it was, well, something else. Let's go and check out the, 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 the pawn shop. Maybe here's something new. At least I can sell the ring I found, the golden ring from the club. We'll see. There you go. Thanks Hi, for coming back. What you need? What did I need to buy something? All right, here's what we got today. Absolutely nothing. Well, those bullets I can take. Um. Cash box. Sell. Sure, I probably don't need. Diary? No, no. What else? What else? What else? Ring, gold ring, thirty. That's like blood back tree. Um, yeah, I have three. I think that's it. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go back to Therese and see what's going on. Um, I mean Jeanette. I did the deed for her. this way through here I did the deed for her the slashing of the paintings let's see what she has to say and uh, I have a bad feeling though I'm gonna check this diner really really quickly before I go Yeah, okay. Yeah, never mind. Let's go. Frenzy occurs when beast within takes control. Frenzy vampire is first to kill him as he's desperate for survival. Uh, not there yet. Could use a drink though. But maybe I get a chance to. Okay, let's go in here and talk to Trees, Janet, whoever is here or both. Mm. 
in there. Second floor, please. Lift. They have to have elevator for two floors. Maybe it's actually pretty high. That's anyways. Still. Oh. What were you thinking? I. Uh, I. How could you give her that item from the hotel? Do you know what she did with it? Wait a. She threw it into the Pacific. Do you know what this means? It means that I can't get rid of the spirit now, which means that that property is useless to me. And to make matters worse, someone's just gone and ruined my event at the gallery. I just... Sh I can... I can... Yeah. Shut up! I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. Because of them, I'm in a worse position than I was before. The ocean house is worthless. So our business is forfeit. The feud is on. Janice is your baggage. You and I had a separate agreement. This isn't fair. You're a rational professional woman. Shouldn't there something I can do? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I'll go. Then the feud is off. Uh, if the Baron of Santa Monica wants her sister back, I will get her sister back, yeah. For all her unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please, be quick about it. Okay, let's do this. Alright, take care of it. I'll take care of it. Later. Fine. Let's do this deed. I mean, like fetch. I'm dog. Oh, you're done, eh? Was it fun? I'll scream, please don't. Okay, the cafeteria, let's go there. Ah, this is such fun. So fun. Uh, let's... There. Oh. The last boot by the Oh, this is powerful. There you go. Shotgun. Hello. Slow down, tell me what happened. All right, I'm coming over. Goodbye. Uh, don't worry, Jeanette. I will deal with trees. I've got a score to settle. Well, thanks for getting me into this, Janet. I hope you two killed. Don't worry, Janet. I will deal with trees. I got a score to settle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. What else? Okay, I can sell these. That's good. I'm really low on blood. 
but let's go and check out those sisters now. Up, please. Second floor. I'm in bad shape. I probably have to say before I go in there. Yeah. Okay. Game saved. Let's see what's going on. Uh huh. Uh huh. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seemed promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tung. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. Go on, Jeanette. ...had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Go on, Janet. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night. Pious as a nun. She didn't try to kill me. Stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's on Therese. act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, that doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. She's yeah. a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Hey, um, you're right, Janet. Therese tried to have me killed. She did. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. Yeah. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What, what happened to your father, Janet? What happened to your father, Therese? What happened to your father, Janet? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. Uh, I don't believe you killed... I can't believe you killed your own father, Therese. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Grab the gun, Janet.
I killed her. I didn't want her to go. I only wanted her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. You wanted to find Bertram. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. He'll help you because I'll ask him to. But you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? I understand. Goodbye. Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. No, I won't. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. I mean, I may need someone like you sometime. And I do get bored so easily. Yeah, I guess Maybe you do. Maybe you could come by and cheer me up sometime. Yeah, sure. I'll come back, I promise. Um. Goodbye. So, that's the end of... Sisters. Next, Bertram Tongue. But that's going to happen in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this one. Uh, if you did, please consider down there hitting the thumb up button and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell. Remember to hit the bell. But anyways, thank you guys. I see you in the next one. Bye.